Hey guys, so today I thought it would be cool to show off some of the more rare and interesting Japanese exclusive Game Boy consoles. I definitely do not have all of the rarest ones, but I do have some pretty interesting ones and I can tell you a little bit about the history of each of them. Nintendo has been doing special edition consoles all the way back to 1977 with the House Shanman version of the Color TV Game 6 basically a Pong machine. So this isn't anything new, but it wasn't until the 1990s that they really started to get into some of the cool, colorful ones that we see around all the time today. Let's start off with the Mario Edition Jusco Game Boy Colors. Jusco stands for Japan United Stores Company and is a big department store-like chain in Asia. These no longer exist under the Jusco name. They've all been rebranded to be called Aeon instead. In 1999, Jusco and Nintendo struck up a partnership for two limited edition Game Boy Color consoles as part of Jusco's 30th anniversary celebration. The first was a totally clear Game Boy Color with a screen featuring images of Mario, released April 1999. The second has the same screen, but the body is instead the clear atomic purple color, released in August of 1999. Unfortunately, these are really easy to fake. Reproduction screens featuring the same Mario images are abundant on eBay, so be careful. In this case, I actually like that mine are a little beat up. I'm a lot more confident that they're authentic. All Nippon Airways, or ANA as it's commonly called, is the largest airline in Japan. And obviously, all large airlines need their own branded Game Boys. The ANA Game Boy Pocket was released in 1997 and the ANA Game Boy Color in 1999. Both were part of a similar lottery type promotion where frequent flyers or ANA club members could win one of 5,000 units. I haven't found much information about the nature of the lottery, but I did find a Japanese blog post mentioning that they had to fill out a questionnaire on the airplane. The Anna Game Boy Color was also given out as a prize in a contest for elementary school kids to design a Pokemon-themed Boeing 747 airplane. There were over 40,000 entries and just 36 Game Boy prizes. Nintendo has released a ton of console colors exclusive to Toys R Us, especially in Japan. In July of 1997, the clear ice blue Game Boy Pocket was available for sale in Japan. This one is technically not exclusive to Japan, actually. Australia got a version of this console that came bundled with a copy of The Little Mermaid. The other Toys R Us exclusive was this emerald green color, released December in 1998. Next up, I want to show off the Dai Hawks Game Boy Color. From 1988 to 2004, Dai, which is a large supermarket company in Japan, owned a Japanese baseball team. This team was the Dai Hawks, and they are not even close to the only baseball team with their own Nintendo consoles. In Japan, the Giants, the Lions, and the Tigers all had at least one Nintendo console made, and in America, the Seattle Mariners had their own DS Lite. You could purchase these, of course, at your local Dai supermarket store. There have also been a lot of Pokemon Center exclusive Game Boys in Japan. This one is one of my favorites. This is the third anniversary Pokemon Game Boy Color, released exclusively through the Pokemon Center store on February 27th, 1999. This was part of a line of merchandise celebrating three years since the original games released and cost just 8,980 yen. Then there's this adorable Hello Kitty Game Boy Pocket. This was sold at Sanrio stores during the Christmas season of 1997 and was bundled with a game. It sold for 9,720 yen. I know that wasn't a ton of Game Boy consoles, but they are all pretty interesting and pretty uncommon, so I wanted to show them off. If you guys are interested in video game history or just weird video game stuff in general, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.